In this tutorial, we are going to sh sh show you how to change a direct deposit and to inactivate it. It always is best practice to always inactivate the direct deposit and never change it. So for example, if Johnny Blue's direct deposit, the account number was wrong, we would not click edit and change it. We like to inactivate it and add a new direct deposit so that way there is a record of what happened in the system. We will click edit and I will change from status to inactive. I will click save and you will notice that the status is now inactive. The next step would be to add the correct direct deposit. So I'm going to change it to active. I'm going to choose checking. I'm going to use remaining net. I'm going to leave the frequency of every pay. And then I'm going to put in the updated information. Then I would go ahead and click save. Now we have a record of an active account and then the inactive account. So now you can see what happened in the system. You never want to delete the direct deposit, although the system will allow you to delete it. This is just good record keeping.